Welcome back to the Scrapyard guys, Rostronic here and we're back with another deck hotout video. Today we're having a look at Lockjaw and a sneaky suspicion that he counters the meta a little bit. With a lot of Leader and Leech in play right now, I feel like Lockjaw decks don't really care about those two cards because you're using your discards, you're pulling stuff from your deck to have sick, sick combos. You're using the likes of Leech and Captain Marvel to pop out of your deck or playing Leech and then Giganto jumping out afterwards. So you get the upside of Leech and then the upside of Giganto, for example. I hope you enjoy the clips to come. I definitely climbed, but it was a small sample size. I hope you enjoy the clips and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm, all right, negative zone is not great for me. Not great for me, but not great for them either. Not great for them, unless they're running Luke Cage, <laughs> which I learned the hard way. Uh, oh, else actually, if you want to check out one of my previous videos, I ran Luke Cage, and Negative Zone is your best friend. Yes, we've got Lockjaw and Wasp in our first, in our hand. We always have to be paying attention to what's actually still in our deck. So, do we actually play the Lockjaw-Wasp combo straight away? We've got a lot of our top end. I mean, we could roll into Sunspot, we could roll into Lady Sif, Dracula, Ghost Rider would be pretty bad. But I think we do it, because I think an early Lockjaw turn two is pretty good, I feel. Baron Mordo, okay, is actually bad for us. Although, Infinite is still is going to be six. Oh, Captain Marvel's actually pretty good, I have to say. So, I'm not, I'm not too upset about that. That's okay. Into Sunspot as well. We get another play on Lockjaw. Now, do we actually play Sunspot on Lockjaw is the question. We don't want to fill it up too much. And I feel like that deck's probably running a Killmonger. If they're running the Hood, they're probably running Killmonger. So I think I'm going to play Sunspot. The danger here now is obviously Wasp is back in our deck again. So we might low roll this. Okay, that's not terrible. Titania, interestingly enough. Hmm, okay, so now... Well, this isn't too bad, actually. Dracula on turn four over here is actually not bad on negative zone. Like a single card on negative zone and it being Dracula with a big discard, hopefully we can finish off on. I mean, we can play more than likely. We won't end up with Titania. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. Now they can lock that down with, uh, with a lot of things. But I think I leech this turn. I think I leech this turn so that their final turn isn't great. Dracula will discard something big, which is also really good. Captain Marvel can move stuff as well. I have a funny feeling they want Titania back, so we might get another option to play something on. I'm not going to snap because if they lock down Wakandan Embassy, I'm in big trouble here. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't really hate that too much. Like, we're going to play, like, our biggest cards, so uh, that won't be terrible. And we get to leech them as well, so... That is not a great Dr. Octopus. I mean, I could snap here, but I don't think I, you know, if I snap, they probably won't. Hmm. The other, th the other thing as well is Dracula. There's no way they catch me on negative zone, I feel. So I think I do play Magneto. Does it pull anything specific? I don't think so. I think I just dump my hand and I think we're in a good space here. Now they could leader me, I suppose. That is true. Black Widow doesn't matter. I suppose they get Titania back, but Magneto is big enough to take it down. Nice. First game, Lockjaw doing the work. Awesome. Okay, so we have Lockjaw. We've got the Lady Sif Ghost Rider combo as well if we need it. We could just use that and, and ignore Lockjaw this game. All depends if we draw a card, if we draw Wasp, depending. Hmm, the Vaults, Camertage. Ooh, Camertage, what? What on reveal stuff would we like? I mean, I was going to say Lady Sif, but no, Lady Sif discarding two cards. I mean, we would only get one of them back, so I don't think that's the play here. I think we do something like Lockjaw into probably Lady Sif next turn. Oh, wave. Okay, that's fine by me. Uh, I think we actually leech this turn. I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think we actually leech and, and, and make all their cards uh, be valueless. Now, this could be a Galactus play. Ooh, actually, Onslaught. Now, Galactus, or Leech, excuse me, might actually be very good into Onslaught because all their ongoing gets turned off now. So they might have, you know, some some um, sick combos. Oh, we have, we have a lot of good stuff here. We have a lot of good stuff. So we can Dracula... And we can also Wasp. I'm, I'm going to snap on this because I feel like we would have hit five of their cards there. And I think 
if we're lucky enough, we've probably hit a lot of their main ongoing stuff. Now, they have dumped their entire hand, which makes me worried. Or three of their cards. There's the death. That's nice. Oh, that, that makes me scared. That makes me scared. Copying Onslaught. Squirrel Girl. Ooh, they, they still might have Patriot. We might be in trouble here. They still might have Patriot. Now, did we discard anything? No. Hmm. Oh, they retreated anyway. Nice. So we must have hit all of their good stuff with the leech plays. Nice. All right, Central Park. Kind of hurts us a little bit. We need to draw our Lock Jaws. We need to draw our Sunspots. There's Sunspot now. Ongoing effects are doubled. We don't really have any good ongoing stuff, so we don't really care about ongoing effects. Uh, we will just play Sunspot over there for now. Oh, the Killmonger triggering now is actually really, really... We're, we're so lucky. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, now I think we play something like Dracula on middle. We generally only want to play... We don't mind playing Dracula on, on locations with minus cards because we're only playing one card in general on those locations. Next turn, we probably want to dump Captain Marvel and Wasp, potentially. Bookie Barnes on the hood. Okay, so they're going to play some Destruction over here. Leech could be good as well. Leech into some good stuff. I mean, they want to destroy stuff, so we might want to ruin their death. So maybe Leech is the play for us here. I think I think Leech is the play for us. Just to kind of mess with their, their death and things like that. Oh, right, wave. So yeah, they wanted to death wave next turn, and uh, we we managed to uh, completely interrupt that, which I really, really love. <laughs> okay, so we have our Lockjaw. Lockjaw should be good here. Ghost Rider, Leech, Giganto. Not, not great cards to have in hand. Obviously, we would like our earlier cards. We'd love to draw our Wasp, maybe. We'd love to draw our Sunspot. All right, turn three. Obviously, we're turning playing Lockjaw. I had a random card. I wonder. What, ooh, Captain Marvel is fine, I suppose. We've got our Lock Lady Sif Ghost Rider combo now as well, so that could also work nicely. So now it's a case of where we can, where we can build. Obviously, on two different spots. Okay, Watu. Oh, Watu. What? Uh, you know what? That could have been actually generated by the hub. It was. It was. Right, so now we can actually lay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap on this because we've got such good power here. I mean, Lady Sif and Wasp on Lockjaw on turn four. Jubilee, okay, that's fine. Oh, it's an Agatha deck. Oh, we could be in trouble. We may, we may regret our decisions here. Magneto pulls both of them. Okay. And then we get Wasp to drop as well. Hopefully that's something big. Oh, Sunspot is not awful. Sunspot is not terrible here. All right, so now we have the Ghost Rider play. If we want it, we can, we can Wasp again. We can also Leech this turn, which I think we will do. Do we Leech? I think we leave Leech up and we Wasp here. Uh, what would we look? Obviously, we'd love to pull like an Infinite or something like that. That would be great. We have our Ghost Rider. Uh, okay. Oh, Giganto. Okay. So it, so we have a Giganto or... Oh, wow. Okay. So they've Hellcowed their big stuff. Now, do they have... Oh, I wonder have they drawn... I wonder have they drawn what they want to draw here. So we're winning right and left here. Have they drawn Hella? Are they playing Hella? I assume they're playing Hella. We could be in a lot of trouble here, folks. Do I just try and go further ahead over here? I think I do. I think I just try and go hard right and left, and let's see what happens. Have they got Hella? They might have Hella. Oh, one card there makes me very nervous. <gasps> the Infinite. Wow. Wow, we did it. We pulled it off. All right, so... Played against Lizzo Ball. Misty Knight would indicate a, a gold Misty Knight. It indicates it's either a bot or somebody really loves playing like Patriot decks, maybe. So I think we play Dracula here. Uh, we do have lots and lots of energy. Storm is fine. I don't I don't mind that at all. 
we can play... What can we play here? Like we'll have seven energy on turn six, so I think we, we Captain Marvel here. And Captain Marvel is either, either going to stay here, depending on what we... we, we um, Dracula discards at the end of the game. Then we want to, on turn five, we'll have six energy. Okay, wow, they just keep changing this location. Um, are they just are they just messing with me at this point? So we will end up with eight energy on, on turn seven. So I don't know. I don't know what to do here, folks. We could move Storm if we wanted to. We could Lady Sip some discards. Mm, we could Lady Sif there. We could just Magneto this turn, but I think I think Magneto is a good. I think we just Giganto. We could just Giganto here. I also feel like we need to compete elsewhere, so maybe we like uh, Lady Sif and Sunspot. I think Captain Marvel and Dracula should be able to lock that down, no problem. Okay. Uh, we actually drew the biggest, uh, well, we would have preferred maybe a Giganto or an Infinite there, but it's fine. We'll, we'll manage. Uh, Leech could be the play here as well. Leech could be the play. Maybe just Giganto is the play. I mean... We can also pull Maximus over there. Depends on how many three and four. I, I like Magneto, like just saving Magneto. So maybe Ghost Rider middle here into this. And then we have to make sure we don't Wasp as well because we don't want Wasp in our hand. But I think, I think that's the play for now. We want to have as much. Okay, so that's actually really, really strong. Now, the one thing I would say is we actually win now. We win middle, they can't catch us. That was that was a really smart play, but unfortunately for them, it's it's not going to be enough. Now I just need to dump my hand. Now I just need to dump my hand because we want to make sure something big drops on left here. What is left in my deck? I have nothing left in my deck, so lockjaw is not the play. But I can actually sorry, excuse me. I can dump my hand here. I'm gonna I'm gonna snap now. They probably will retreat or should retreat. Um, but I think leech lockjaw wasp here, and then. Whatever we play, that's going to be minimum another 12 to this. So that's going to go to 18. Yeah, I think I don't, I don't think there's a way they can win this. I mean, we might be playing against the bot here, but I'm not sure. But I feel like there's not much they can do. They've played two cards. Okay, Hobgoblin. Wow, okay, we could be in trouble here. Juggernaut can't move anything, and we Giganto, which is amazing. Let's go. Luke Spar. Luke Spar, we can get around that with Captain Marvel. We can also get around it with um, Ghost Rider. So we're not that afraid of, of, of Luke Spar right now. Psylocke, okay, that leads me to believe they're playing a Mr. Negative deck. Uh, yeah, I think we just play Lady Sif for now. Lady Sif. Okay, so things are going to move around. Jubilee is good. Can we compete with anything they play? Okay, they played Moon Knight, which does directly counter one of our things. Uh, that's not ideal. Uh, we do now need to draw our Ghost Rider. We can play... I think I'm actually just going to play Dracula here. I'm hoping... Oh, wow, they obviously... Oh, yeah, they can just keep playing Jubilee. <laughs> now, the thing is, Luke's bar will swap. Oh, they discarded their Hela as well. Does that mean I snap? I feel like that means I snap. There's our Ghost Rider play. Uh, I feel like that means I snap. Yeah, I think that means I snap. And I leech here. Obviously, we can drop Wasp whenever we feel like it. They have to play onto Danger Room, which obviously has the danger of destroying their cards. Surprised they're going to keep playing here. Okay, so they have Captain Marvel, which is fair. So now... Oh, uh... Now what are we playing? We need to get rid of our hand, which is unfortunate now. We can't. 
can't really do that. Dracula doesn't really guarantee us the win now. This this is a little bit of a dead draw, unfortunately. Can we do anything with Magneto? Uh, we... Ghost Rider... What, what did we discard again? We discarded Death, didn't we? I feel like we discarded Death. Did we discard Death? Yeah, we discarded Death. So 12... So Ghost Rider will win us middle. We then just have a 50-50... We have a 50-50 on whether <laughs> Dracula discards the right card. Let's go. Let's see if it works. This this deck is all about that sort of shenanigans. Okay, so he was hoping... Oh, it's actually Captain Marvel that jumps in. Interesting. Uh, and then Wasp. And then... Oh, no! No! <laughs> I, I thought we discarded death. Wow, that was, that was dumb. That was really dumb. <laughs>